Hello, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you haven't, welcome here. My name is Caitlin Anderson and today I'm doing a video on the new Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. This bad boy, I drew all the way, drew, I drove all the way to the States today to pick this up so I could do this video for y'all. I know there's a bunch of videos out on this already, but I really wanted to do a tutorial for you using this little guy here. I have the Mauve Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty. Sorry, Mauve, Mauve. I keep hearing it different ways. I also keep hearing Huda and, and Huda, so I could be saying it all wrong, but I have the Mauve Obsessions by Huda Beauty as well as the Warm Obsessions. I literally couldn't wait to get my hands on this here because as lots of you guys know, I'm obsessed with peach and coral and just that shade in general. Obsessed. So if you would like to see how I create this eye look using the Coral Obsessions palette, then keep on watching. Let's get right into the video. This is the Coral Obsessions. This is brand new. This is what the palette looks like here. It is so beautiful. I'm so, so, so excited to try it for you guys today. There are two shimmer shades. So we have this shade here, which is a shimmer shade, as well as this shade here, and the rest of them are mattes. So I'm going to get right into it. I have the rest of my face makeup on. I'm going to do an eye look with you guys and then I'm going to tell you my first impressions. Cool? Cool. If this is not your first time watching my channel, I have my hair back. All right. So first and foremost, I'm going to do what I always do and go in with a transition shade. So I'm going to go in with the middle color here and I'm going to use a fluffy brush and apply it all over the crease here and we're just going to blend apply it all over the crease is not the proper terminology but we're going to blend it into the crease and if this is your first time watching one of my videos i am not a beauty guru i am not a beauty vlogger well i kind of am but i'm definitely not a beauty guru my channel's got a little bit of everything you know go take a peek you'll see if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i'm just going to build that up in the crease and i'll be right back does she make you feel wanted is she all you wanted so looking like a transition shade. Now I'm gonna, you know, brighten it up a little, give it a little pop of color, pop a color. And we're gonna go in with this shade here to deepen up the crease, just a little bit. Just casual, we're not getting crazy. Just buffing it in just over top of that transition shade. Just a little casual pop of coral. I have had a watery eye all day on my left eye. I have no idea why it's driving me crazy because well, it's because it's annoying, but also because it's hard to apply makeup to an eye that won't stop watering because it doesn't blend very well. Okay, so, so far, I find the formulation is pretty much the same as the other ones. I am finding it a little difficult to blend. Not difficult, just like, I don't know, it doesn't look the most blended, you know? But it's not bad. And the colors, colors are good. I'm here for them. All right, now next I'm gonna do a classic Caitlyn move and I'm going to apply a shimmery shade. So I'm gonna go with this one here, the kind of corally shimmery shade and I'm going to apply it all over my lid using my finger. I just, I have seen in some videos that the shimmery shades don't apply super pigmented in this palette. And also I'm just a big fan of applying shimmery shades with my finger. I find that there's less fallout, there's more control and you can kind of pack it on which I really like. So I'm just applying this all over the lid. That is so pretty. I'm kind of obsessed with that. Now it is freaking hot where I live today and I'm living for that because in the winter it gets to minus 35, sometimes minus 40 degrees Celsius with the wind chill. I'm talking one of the coldest cities in Canada, if not the coldest city in Canada. I'm not even being that dramatic right now. I'm really, really not. You could freeze to death. That's real. That's true. Anyways, I say that all to say, it is hot today, almost 29 degrees, I think, but it's kind of windy. So whatever, it's hot, okay? It's nice out for the first time in a long time. So I'm gonna go for a corally, fun, peachy, cause I'm obsessed with peach, fun look. Now, if I was going for a nighttime look, I'd be all up in this one here and this one, ooh, I'd be hitting that. I would be right there, you know? But it's bright out, I'm going to watch a hockey game, pause just for a sec because my city is in the NHL playoffs. The only team in Canada left in the playoffs, I believe. I only became a hockey fan like two weeks ago when we started in the playoffs. So uh, I, for the first time, have been enjoying watching hockey. I know I'm just as shook as you. Anyways, we have a game tonight and it's a very important game. So I'm just about to chill and watch that. So I you know, this ain't no nighttime look. This is a fun, you know, sit on the patio, watch a game, drink a cocktail kind of look, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to brighten it up. I just, I have to use this bright color because I know you're all dying for me too, you know? You're like, use it, use it. 
I won't disappoint you, queen. I will not. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful, crazy, crazy color. I mean, you could keep it like this and be normal and be cash, and that's totally cool. That's totally fine. Okay, so we're just going to dab this into the corner. Okay, she's pigmented. Some people were saying that this palette isn't pigmented, and I beg to differ. Okay, and now don't worry, I'm not leaving it like that. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not a professional, but I do know that you don't leave your eyeshadow like that. Okay, so we're just packing the product in and then we will blend it. My favorite smaller blending brush is nowhere to be found right now, so I'm going to use this bigger one, which does make me a touch nervous, but you know what? We're brave here on my channel. We take chances. Make a wish, take a chance, make a change. Is that how it goes? And break away. How would you guys feel about me doing a singing video? Some people call those covers. How would you guys feel about me doing a cover on my channel? Or are you gonna say stick to makeup? I'll probably do what it, you know, what my heart desires either way, but I would like to know your opinions on it because I appreciate and respect your opinions. All right, so we're just gonna blend this out. We're just gonna do a little blend and then we're gonna do some bottom shadow and then we're done. That is freaking annoying. <laughs> now for the bottom shadow, we're going to do a little some some. We're gonna go into our transition shade. We're going to blend it out on the bottom. Do a little bit of this. Don't be afraid of the bottom eyeshadow. I tell my subscribers that all the time. I know it's scary there, but again, we take chances on this channel. We just try new things. Next, we're gonna go into this color here and a little bit of that shimmery guy, and we're going to blend it. So basically you use the colors that you used on top on the bottom. All right, so that is it for the eyeshadow look using the Coral Obsessions palette. I'm just gonna go in with my hmm, mascara and I'll be right back. And some lips, I'm gonna put some lips on. <laughs> Be right back. Alrighty guys, this is my final look using the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions Palette. This is now available on the Canadian Sephora website as well as the American. I was a ding dong and I saw that it was only available on the American and then I was impatient so I ordered it to the border in the States and then I drove all the way there. Um, but before I drove all the way there, the next day it was available on the Canadian website. So I was kicking myself for being so impatient. But I got the palette. It is available on both websites. First impressions of this palette, it has a great different array of colors. Um, I think it has some really nice like neutral and like in here and then it has the bright ones that you can work with and then it has a crazy yellow color which I don't know what I would ever do this with that but maybe I'll try it out try something new I just really like this because it has got very summery coral notes I have lots of peach palettes and then I have lots of toasted palettes warm palettes like the Tarla toasted palette and other warm palettes that I have but I don't have anything exactly like this so I think that this offers something unique as opposed to the other palettes that are out there I do think it's blendable but it's not the most blendable formula I've ever used so just keep that in mind I don't find it to be that different from my Warm Obsessions palette. I don't find that that one's easier to blend and this one's more difficult. I did not try the shimmer shades with a brush. I just used my finger with it. And so I found it went on really, really good. There was no fallout. It was really pigmented. Though I have heard feedback that with a brush, it's hard to pick up pigments. So just keep that in mind when purchasing the palette if you decide to get it. But that is it for this video. I really hope that you like this video. I hope that you love my channel. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you never miss one of my videos again and as always i love you so much thank you so much for watching <sighs> you're probably wondering if i ever breathe when i speak the answer is no another fun fact for you is that one time when i was in high school i was in a work period and i was really upset about something and i was telling my friends a story and i talked so much that i either passed out or threw up i can't remember i think i passed out i can't really remember though but something really bad happened because i didn't breathe while telling a story so there's a fun fact for you okay thank you for watching my channel i hope you still love me bye